Font ligatures in VS Code let the editor use a special glyph to render certain adjacent characters. This is often used for operators and languages. In this JavaScript file, for example, I've enabled font ligatures, and you can see that they're being used in a few places. In this arrow function, for example, notice how this arrow up here is being rendered as a single character. Now, in the source file, it's still just an equal sign and then a greater than sign. And I can actually reveal that by going and placing my cursor in front of this font ligature and hitting delete. And you can see that it's just a normal equal sign. Now, if I type the greater than sign, it is, if I put a space here, you can see it's just a greater than sign. But as soon as I put the two next to each other, and I'll just hit delete that space, it uses the special character to render. So that's the ligature in this case. The same is being done for these not equal signs down here. So these are um, double not equals. So if I actually delete something here, you can see that it starts out with an exclamation mark. As I type the first uh, equal sign, then it renders this special character here. And then as I type the second equal sign, it renders this special glyph here. And for triple equals as well, you can see that font ligatures are being used. So this is a triple equals. And if I delete one, there's the double equals. And then if I hit delete again, it's just a single equal sign. As I add those back, you'll notice the different glyphs being used. So the important thing about font ligatures are that they're only changing how the code is displayed. They don't actually change the code on disk. Like as I save this file to disk, it is still just a normal equal sign and then a greater than sign. And in this case, it's still three equal signs, but they are changing how my code is displayed in the editor. Font ligatures are not enabled by default. To enable them, I'm just gonna open the settings here and then say font. So the first part to make sure that font ligatures work, you need to have a font in your editor that supports font ligatures. This will be documented somewhere. I'm using Cascadia code, for example, but other ones such as source code pro or Fira code also support font ligatures. After you do that, make sure to enable the editor font ligature setting. So for this setting, you actually have to enable it in the settings JSON file and just make sure you set editor font ligatures to true. But once you do that, and once your editor is using the correct font, you should see font ligatures showing up. A font can define all sorts of custom ligatures. For a language like Haskell, for example, that uses a lot of operators, you may want to find a font that has a lot of font ligatures so that your code is displayed a little bit more nicely. Font ligatures can make your code a little bit more neat looking and a little bit more legible when it's displayed in the editor.